welcome boys to e learn our topic for today is compound interest before we go ahead with compound interest let us revise what you all studied last year that is interest or simple interest what is interest interest is the charge for borrowing money from the bank or money lenders or it is the money that we get when we put our savings in the bank in short it is the addition money we pay to the bank or money lender or the additional money we get when we put our money in the bank let's recall the formula for interest it is i is equal to p multiplied by n multiplied by r upon 100 i is the interest that is the extra money paid or earned p is the principal that is the sum of money deposited or borrowed and n is the period that is the number of years we borrow the money for and r is the rate of interest that the bank or the money lender charges us we will just solve an example it reads ram takes a loan of rupees 10000 from a bank at the rate of 10% per annum pcpa means percent per annum for 2 years how much interest has he to pay now let's write the data down p is the principal which is rupees 10000 r is the rate of interest which is 10 p c p a n is the period which is 2 years now to find out the interest the formula is i is equal to p multiplied by n multiplied by r upon 100 substituting p which is 10000 multiply by n which is 2 multiply by r which is 10 upon 100 we solve it this zero and this zero cuts this zero and this zero cuts now 1000 multiply by 2 is 2000 2000 multiply by 1 is 2000 so the interest is rupees 2000 so ram has to pay the bank interest of rupees 2000 now what is the total amount that he has to pay the bank the total amount that he has to pay the bank will be the money which he borrowed 
that is 10,000 plus 2,000 and that is equal to rupees 12,000. Coming to the topic of today, compounds interest, which means interest on interest. Because when we deal with compound interest, the principal always increases. The money what we get that is the increased money is always faster because in compound interest the interest is added to the principal whereas in simple interest the principal remains the same. Compound interest is the amount minus the principal. What is the formula to calculate compound interest? A is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R upon 100, the whole raised to the power of N. A is the amount. P is the principal. R is the rate of interest and N is the period that is the number of years. We will now solve practice set 14.1. The first sum find the amount and compound interest on a principal of rupees 2000 for two years at the rate of 5% per annum. The formula for finding out compound interest is A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100, the whole raised to the power of N. Now substituting the values, you have A is equal to 2000 into 1 plus 5 upon 100 the whole raised to the power of 2. Now solving this we put the denominator for 1 as 1. Let's solve this. So that is equal to 2000 multiply by, we have to cross multiply because you have to equalize the denominators. You get 100 plus 5, 100 into 1 is 100, 1 into 5 is 5 upon 1 into 100 is 100, the whole raised to the power of 2. So that is equal to 2000 into 105 upon 100. Now let's raise the power of 2. That's why we are putting it twice. So you have 2000 into 100 upon 105 upon 100 into 105 upon 100. Because this is 2, we have put it twice. Now let's cancel the zeros. So you have 1, 2, 3. So you cancel the 0. 1, 2, 3. Now when we multiply these numbers, that is 2 multiplied by 105 into 105, we get it equal to 2, 2, 0, 5, 0. That's I'm talking about the amount upon 10. When you cancel this 0 and this 0, you get the amount equal to 2205. Now we have to find out the compound interest. 
compound interest is equal to the amount that is 2205 minus the principal which is 2000 and that is equal to rupees 205.